have to ask you about live action Little Mermaid. Is there an update? <laughs> well, not not much yet. It's just that we're starting to write it yeah. and putting together the script and the outline and trying to make the adaptation from an animated film to a to a live action film, which is it's you know it has its unique challenges. That's for sure, especially because half the movie is underwater. <laughs> so we're going to be figuring out how we do that. Um, it's very exciting, though. I have to say. I want to see, want to see them dancing. I'm sure you're thinking about casting. Lindsay Lohan has kind of been petitioning to be a part of it. Is that a possibility? Gosh, I don't know who's going to play these roles yet. We haven't really got that far. Yeah. I think we're, we'll, we'll start that process probably this, sometime this summer. Mm -hmm. You know, right now we're just focusing on the characters, the material, which is everything. You know, yeah. that's the most important thing. And then, and then you know, I have, I, I'm, I'm starting to have some ideas, but it's, you know, I haven't got, gotten there yet. Yeah. <laughs> So it'll be a bit until we get to see Ariel on the big screen again, but right now you can watch his latest flick, Mary Poppins Returns, on the small screen. What brings you here after all this time? Same thing that brought me the first time. I've come to look after the Banks children. Us! Oh yes, you too. The home release features some never-before-seen bonus features for fans. To see how the animation sequence is put together, that's mm -hmm. pretty thrilling. Because yeah. it starts basically in a green room, you know, imagining there are characters and, you know, and backgrounds. And then it comes together in this beautiful way because it's all hand-drawn. We actually had to take a lot of artists out of retirement to do it. Everything is possible. Even the impossible. Off we go. Let's talk about Angela. Why don't you go first, sir? Me? I don't think I've held a balloon since I was a child. Then you've forgotten what it's like. To hold a balloon. To be a child. How did that cameo come to be? Well, we knew we needed to cast this amazing part of the balloon lady, mm -hmm. which is in the books. I knew it had to be someone who immediately could be magical. You mm -hmm. could immediately see something special about her. And I honestly only thought of Angela. <laughs> Angela Lansbury, one of the most extraordinary women on the planet. I just thought, who can do that? There's no one like her. Uh, she's an original, the way Dick Van Dyke is. So when lives are real, be super, you must choose to be a trooper. Speaking of Dick Van Dyke, in the featurette, you get really emotional in that scene. You couldn't even say cut. <laughs> what was that day like on set? Well, that was a dream come true to yeah. work with him. I mean, he's my hero. He leaves his life, I mean, it's such a beautiful lesson. It's actually the lesson of the film, the message of the film about leading life and looking at life as a child through a child's eyes and approaching life with wonder and joy and music and, and magic. And that's what he does in his own life. Mm -hmm. And um, he actually grabbed me as we were walking onto the set. He grabbed my arm and he said, I feel the same spirit here on this set as I did on the first film. Oh my God. So that full circle for me was unbelievable yeah no unbelievable. wonder no wonder you were emotional yeah, I get it now it I get was it fantastic will there be a sequel well I don't know I mean I will say there is a lot of great material there mm -hmm. there really is I mean there are eight books there's beautiful characters fabulous adventures P.L. Travers wrote until she was I think in her 80s yeah. and so it's you know it's all there I hope it's not another 54 years yeah. for the next one Mary Poppins who came back you seem hardly to have aged at all. Really? One never discusses a woman's age, Michael.